hope uh, you might understand the first unit we have finished the first unit now we are in second unit second unit is full of classical criticism so you might have to concentrate more more on it second unit that's a very very important unit also those who are studying principles of literary criticism uh, criticism started with the greek so classical criticism it's very important for all eminent critics here a plato aristotle horace langtinius so you might have to concentrate more more on that particular unit so to, now we are discuss about plato's criticism so plato's important work republic the synopsis for your essay you please listen uh, if they are asking plato's criticism you should write about plato and then um, two kinds of poetry he uh, divided uh, art into two kinds then he has followed two types of meter in his poem and the difference between plato and aristotle plato's opinion on citizens opinion on citizens that political concept next theory of ideas or theory of forms then conclusion have you clear about it, uh, the synopsis what are the snaps you are right introduction about plato then work his important works and art the classification of art two kinds of meter difference between aristotle and plato then theory of ideas these are the things you have to be concentrate on your mind so immediately uh, plato apprin sonone unga mind ku varavudhu greek philosopher and he uh, learn more uh, criticism from aristophanes aristophanes spoke to be aristophanes shows a way uh, to the growth of criticism from him he has derived a lot of ideas so plato about plato we are now we are discussing uh, plato greek philosopher mathematician has written so many big big volumes he was born in 427 bc and of course his birthplace is athens uh, he first started writing poems first started his career as poem poet and destroyed them under the influence of socrates and become actively interested in philosophy so first he started and his career as a poet later everything that is destroyed then he just concentrate on philosophy and maths of course who is the teacher of plato that's a very interesting question and socrates is the teacher of plato <coughs> excuse me then uh, who is the student of plato aristotle is a student of plato and aristotle student alexander you have to be remind that order also uh, socrates plato aristotle alexander have you all the things have to be kept in your mind as very very useful for clearing net set examination also if you are going for higher studies uh, these are very very important criticism they have given so many writers are there so many important questions are there nowadays a uh, net set they are focusing in um, questions they have set based on principles of literary criticism literary theory so you have to be concentrate more on it again and again i insist the points are all very very important he died at the age of 81 he has written two dozen dialogues between 20 to 300 pages so the dialogue is very very uh, big volume so and then his most important criticism republic the symposium these are all very very important criticism work republic he deals with justice how the citizens should be there how an ideal state has been created symposium uh, it is about the nature of love so these are the things uh, to be concentrate more on it the dialogue is in the form of dialogue so our eminent personality has participated in the dialogue one of the person is socrates uh, aristotle sorry one of the person is aristotle they discussed in the form of question and answer one asked a question and another one has given a answer his dialogue have been used to, to teach a wide range of subjects 
including philosophy, logic, ethics, rhetoric, and mathematics. So, so many that is regarding these philosophy, logic, they have discussed in dialogues. Plato's other works that Ion, that Ion is very, very important work. And all these books, so Plato deals on the topics like ethics, metaphysics, politics, etc. Then an art. He has discussed art, mathematics, that is sorry, metaphysics, art, ethics, politics. He has discussed all those things in his works. According to Plato, uh, art has two reasons that they appeal to the emotion rather than than to the rational faculty of man. So art is nothing but it has to be appealed to emotion. Kalendra the one the Navarukunum Kalayahatan Irikum the imagination of Irku Kuda the Apindrata Urudia view are which they imitate rather than lead one to reality. So poets are like it. They are just imitating. They are not following the reality in the in their writing. Um, the original Elami imitate Pani Ram. In the end reason one the Plato Kandiranala, he just wants to ban his uh, Quiet from his own idol state. So, the state is not a good thing. The state is not a good thing. Okay. So, I already informed that Plato divides arts into two types. So, what are the two types of art? Finance art or useful art? That is fine art and useful art. Fine art, music, literature, painting, uh, sculpture, these are come under fine art. Useful art, that agriculture, medicine, these are all known as useful art. He divides arts into two kinds. One is useful art and fine arts. What are all come under fine arts? Fine arts literature, painting, sculpture, music. We all know these are all things called as um, fine arts. Useful arts are considered as very useful to the society, that medicine, agriculture. Plato's views on art, that fine arts, are related to the theory of ideas. He connected uh, poetry, that is art, no? theory of ideas, the fine arts relate. He saw art as imitating the objects of life or nature, the ideas that Plato deal with in Republic or the ultimate reality. So what are the ideas has given in Republic that does he wants to uh, create his own ideal state? Everything is reality. Things are conceived as ideas before they take practical shapes as things. According to him, whatever we have, have implemented, that uh, even uh, politicians, everything they want to implement, anything means they have to be used practically analyzed. Imaginary, we cannot create anything at all. So practically, we have to be analyzed. This is the concept by Plato. So Plato, and then we kinds of art. So one fine art, you know, useful art. Useful art, but then society kerumba useful art. Fine art, up to that, then our mind entertainment, this kind of useful art. Next, Plato divides poetry as tritrimic or purely lyrical or purely mimetic or imitative. So, two of them lyric are also there. Poetry, when the divide panda, two of them divide panda. One part is not purely lyric. Then another one is imitative. And then uh, he uh, mixed two kind of such as epic. He wants to write an epic in that epic poem. Uh, he followed two kinds. That is, two, he mixed two kinds: purely lyric as well as imitative mixed art, and has written it. Epic. So, you purely lyric you and the inner forms from only other imitative. When they may not say Rana, mingle punny, epic elder, Aramikirad. Republic in Republic, Plato attacks poets and poetry for particular reason and in particular context from philosophical outlook. As a philosopher, he attacked poets. Plato himself wrote poetry and he wrote uh, poetically in prose works. In Republic, his main uh, preoccupation are political and not artistic. So not at all, he imagination or his imagination, of course, he wants to create an ideal 
ஸ்டேட் ஆர் ஐடியல் சொசைட்டி ஒரு இமேஜினேஷன் வேர்ல்டு கிரியேட் பண்ணணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறாரு ஆனால் அவர் சொன்ன விஷயங்கள் எல்லாமே அந்த சொன்ன பொலிட்டீஷியன் விஷயங்கள் எல்லாமே இப்படி தான் இருக்கணும் ஒரு சிட்டிசன் ஸோ ஒரு ஒரு பொலிட்டீஷியன் இப்படி தான் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆகும் அப்படின்னு சொன்ன விஷயங்கள் எல்லாமே ரியாலிட்டியாக இருந்துச்சு He banished literature and arts as they have no political utility. So that he banished, he sent away the poet because they don't have any uh, kind of usefulness to the society. Poets tell me liar of the Dauram soldier. So this is a comment on a poet that is the views of Plato. Or a poet, a pretty lie here in the two poets and a panara print or a view of soldier. Next, according to Plato, the mathematician, they are considered, they are equally treated to demigod. Demigod is one of the words. Poetry is the result of the impulse of the moment. So, poetry can either make a better citizen, nor the state a better organization. Poetry is not the same as a mathematician. So, poetry is the result of the impulse. can either make a society but uh, that a mathematician can calculate it more than poet it cannot take place the philosoph- uh, place of philosophy poetry can't replace the place of philosophy and we choose to make leaves a permanent mark on the minds of the young people to plato god is perfectly good and so changeless and incapable of deceit But to poets, present gods are revengeable, lustful and cruel, and men as glutens and chlorica. So God, according to Plato, God is perfectly good. We never, never compare poets to God. So one a particular occasion that one writer has said to poets, they create world. They create uh, that uh, they are doing the same work of God. creation work but the creation work can be done only by god ninga kadavulukku vandha nam nigaraga yaarume solla mudiya appdin solla ana avanga oru sila writers vandu poets vandu it's equal to god appadina solliruppaanga adha ivar vandha enna pandrara oppose panni solran next any moral grounds any moral ground most poetry is unsuitable only philosophy can replace the uh, place of poem சரிங்களா எதுவுமே அன் அக்கௌண்ட் ஆஃப் மாரல் கிரௌண்ட்ஸ் எந்த ஒரு விஷயத்த எடுத்துக்கிட்டாலும் போயம் வந்து அன்சூட்டபுளா இருக்கு பொயட்ஸ் வந்து லயரா இருக்கிறாங்க அப்படின்றதா இவருடைய வியூவாவே இருந்துச்சு த பொயட்ஸ் ஹாவ் டிபிட்டட் காட்ஸ் அண்ட் கிரேட் ஹீரோஸ் ஆஃப் த பாஸ்ட் வித் மாரல் வீக்னஸ் விச் வில் ஹாவ் அ பேட் எஃபெக்ட் ஆன் த யங் மைண்ட்ஸ் So the poets, they are creating bad imagination. They are creating a bad effect. They are giving a bad effect on the young minds. So, moral weakness, they are having moral weakness. Poem, we all know that we all have to say 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 that we all have to enjoy, they enjoy and entertain them. For example, there are many poems that we all have to say 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 that. அவங்கள திருப்தி படுத்துறதுக்காக நிறைய பொய் எல்லாம் சொல்ல ஆரம்பிங்க நிறைய நம்ம சின்ன குழந்தையில சோ கதை சொல்றோம்னா அந்த கதைகள்லாம் வந்து எல்லாமே உண்மையான கதைகள் சொல்லிட்டு நம்ம அனலைஸ் பண்ண மாட்டோம் அந்த குழந்தையும் அது அந்த குழந்தைக்கு அப்பதைக்கு என்ன பர்பஸோ அது சாப்பிட வைக்கணும் அப்படின்ற பர்பஸ் காரணம் நம்ம அந்த கதைகள்லாம் சொல்லுவோம் அதே மாதிரிதான் அந்த பொயர்ஸும் வந்து தட் வாட் இஸ் தேர் அஹ் அப்பதைக்கு அந்த ரீடருக்கு என்ன தேவை அப்படின்றத மட்டும் அவங்க அனலைஸ் பண்ணி எழுத ஆரம்பிக்கிறாங்க பிளாட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் பொயட்ரி ஆஸ் இம்மாரல் யூ கன்சிடர் பொயட்ரி ஆஸ் இம்மாரல் says that it is based on falsehood everything they are writing very based on falsehood ideal man as a citizen pursues the moral perfection and as an individual he stresses the pursuit of truth if you want to be a good a good uh, citizen you have to be follow certain principles you should be honest enough so ideal man a irukkudi and the citizen a irukkudi or nalla manithan vandu indha mari poets accept pannikka 
for all this reason so control passion poetry appeals to emotion plato disapproved poetry so these are the reason why the plato rejects poets and poetry so all over that uh, all over the reason uh, poem appeal to emo imagination as well as emotion it has created emotions so immediately if you are reading any other poem of um, whose poems that always uh, one who has written about death emily dickinson yes emily dickinson poem so if you are reading immediately that you are thinking about death so emotions every poet they create emotions not originality that emotions is not based on original and it, it is also they are creating an imagination they uh, they weaken their young minds that is they weaken their minds also the plato disapproves poetry so it's a very very important question and so five more question why plato disapproves poetry what are the reason and anyone say the reasons one by one shall we discuss okay what are the reason the poet uh, disapproved plato yes of course you are correct the students are giving a very great response and correctly they are saying first point the poets have depicted gods and great heroes of the past with moral weakness so the poets having the moral weakness second point they spoil young minds like children they are narrating stories and they are always uh, giving a not immoral not a good stories they are giving they are giving, creating immoral stories it everything is based on farce they are giving more important to uh, lustful and cruel everything and then his ideal man citizen uh, citizen cannot follow that poet if they are following means they also consider they are not persuade a truth me vandu therinjikave matanga these are the reason he disapprove poetry so uh, his attack on poetry plato's attack on poetry and it what are the first point moral grounds on moral grounds the poets are not so they are not they are saying very great lies they are not at all saying truth unmaya solla matra first point moral and then second point they are uh, cheating uh, society so emotionally they are developing so they don't give uh, that uh, original taste they are uh, unsatisfied that is satisfied uh, they are writers they are readers satisfied they are readers for that they are writing very falsehood this is the second point falsehood first point what's the first point again and again you have to be recall first point moral ground second point falsehood then poet tell lies about god so uh, we are uh, traditionally uh, we believe in god they are saying that uh, some lies regarding god and they are following greatest heroes they are creating greatest heroes that's the third point then fourth point they are creating harmful that judgment in dramatic matters is left in many and the result is lawlessness that lustful everything they are creating that is the fourth point then emotional last point now all the poems up into emotional these are the reason that uh, plato disapprove poems on second i repeated first moral ground second uh, it's not good to society then third they are not creating they are not creating a great taste that is the second point then fourth point they are tell lies about gods then fifth point next point that is it's very very harmful to the society last point it appeal to emotional so these are the point you have to be remember and our most important uh, often quoted uh, that is quotation you have to be remember he merely imitates that according to plato the poet merely imitates poetry can serve no useful practical purpose it must not be a part of a school curriculum so we should not to follow poem that is we should not be included in our syllabus poem seringla and mari curriculum la irukka koodanu solli the poets have no knowledge of reality they simply imitate the shadow or the illustration so what is the illustration 
that is they are simply followed such a exemplary acts poetry is thrice removed from reality so ellame avanga poets eludrathu ellame enna adu unma kedaiyadhu they are imagining they are writing not truth it cannot be source of knowledge and truth it can tell us nothing about the essential reality so we cannot find we cannot observe uh, truth as well as knowledge we cannot develop knowledge through a poem everything is fantasy so these are the reason he attack poetry then uh, he has given now in this slide we are discussing about the difference between plato and aristotle plato plato it's a uh, best served if philosopher kings control power he has considered that as plato superior uh, he has kind of best social service as well as philosopher kings he has controlled that government should be controlled by upper class if plato wants to create a republic an ideal society in that ideal society government cannot control the people the people can control government that is the view he has given only best educated most intelligent should participate in government like not in our government if you have taken any kind of a government <coughs> whether the government officials have finished examination or not we don't know but what according to plato said best educated those who have finished education they can alone rule the state நம்ம மாதிரி யாருமே என்ன செய்யக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்றாங்க அதாவது ஒரு பொலிட்டீஷியனா இருக்கணும்னா அவர் ப்ராப்பரா எஜுகேஷன் பினிஷ் பண்ணிருக்கணும் திஸ் இஸ் அ பொலிட்டிக்கல் வியூ ஆஃப் பிளாட்டோ நான் அரிஸ்டாட்டில் ஹவு தே ஆர் சேவிங் தட் இஸ் அரிஸ்டாட்டில் சொசைட்டி பர்ஸ்ட் சர்வ் இஃப் மிடில் கிளாஸ் கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் த பவர் இஃப் மிடில் கிளாஸ் பீப்புள் தே ஹாவ் அ பவர் மீன்ஸ் வி கேன் ஈஸிலி டூ த வெரி கிரேட் திங்ஸ் டு சொசைட்டி கவர்மெண்ட் மஸ்ட் ஃபாலோ செட் ஆஃப் லாஸ் டு மெயின்டைன் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி so stability that in order to maintain stability what do you mean by stability or nilaippu thanme irukonu government la appadina avanga they have to be follow rules and regulation ana ivar enna solraarna upper class people modala government vandu control pandrada take over panikkanum upper class people adhaavadhu nama ipo england la nadakkukuri andha maari dhaan queen elizabeth adutha queen victoria ivanga la vandha andha raja paramparayil irundhe vandhu avanga rule pannite vandhaanga adhe maari dhaan அப்பர் கிளாஸ் பீப்புள் எடுத்துட்டாங்கன்னா அந்த மாதிரி ரொம்ப அப்பர் கிளாஸ் பீப்புள் எடுத்து கவர்மெண்ட்டை நடத்துனாங்கன்னா அது நல்லா இருக்குன்றது பிளாட்டோட வி இவர் வந்து செட் ஆஃப் லாஸ் அண்ட் ரூல்ஸை வந்து ஃபாலோ பண்ணணும் நாட் ஓன்லி கவர்மெண்ட் கவர்மெண்ட் சைட்ல இருக்க மட்டும் இல்ல ஆர்டினரி பீப்புளும் ஃபாலோ பண்ணணும் அப்படின்றது நான் போத் ரிச் அண்ட் புவர் சுட் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் இன் ஆல் த ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் இவர் என்ன சொல்றாருன்னா இன்டெலிஜென்ட் சுட் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் எஜுகேட்டட் இருக்கிறவங்க மட்டும்தான் கவர்மெண்ட் நடத்த முடிவார் அவர் வந்து ரிச் அண்ட் புவர் ரெண்டு பேருமே கலந்து ஒரு பொலிட்டிக்கல் ஒரு கவர்மெண்ட்டை உருவாக்கலாம்னு சொல்றாங்க திஸ் இஸ் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் பிளாட்டோஸ் பொலிட்டிக்கல் வியூ அஸ் வெல் அஸ் அரிஸ்டாட்டில் பொலிட்டிக்கல் வியூ ஹியர் இன் திஸ் லைட் யூ கேன் சி த டிவைடட் லைன் பிளாட்டோ டிவைடட் physical world of sense invisible world of reason sense and reason as divided what are the things come under senses consciousness belief our shadows physical objects they are all come under it is considered as opinion it is in physical world invisible world understanding knowledge science that understanding mathematics ideal forms those are intellect this is opinion these two are opinion these are all intellect what do you mean by intellectual that is knowledge import everything and intellectual talent so these are all known as invisible world of reason so how your mind is doing calculation can you visible it is visibilized no that does won't be visibilized ஒரு மேக்ஸ் எப்படி செய்யறீங்க அப்படின்றது உங்க மூளை வந்து மேக்ஸ் எப்படி பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்றதுன்னு மூளைக்குள்ள போய் ஏதாவது பார்க்க முடியுமா முடியவே முடியாது சோ இட் இஸ் இன்விசிபிள் இன்விசிபிள் ரீசனிங் பட் இன்டெலக்ட் நம்மளுக்கு வந்து அது அறிவு அறிவு சார்ந்தமா அது இருக்கு இப்ப பாத்தீங்கன்னா கன்சர் அப்படின்னா சாடோஸ் பிலீஃப் நம்மளுடைய பிசிக்கல் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஒரு வீடோ ஒரு ஏதோ ஒரு நீங்க இமேஜினேஷன் பண்ணிருக்கீங்க அதெல்லாம் வந்து என்னது நம்மளுடைய பிசிக்கல் சென்ஸ் இதெல்லாம் வந்து இன்விசிபிள் ரீசன் சென்ஸையும் ரீசனையும் இங்க டிஃபரன்சியேஷன் பண்ணி காட்டியிருக்காங்க 
so in this you can uh, come to conclusion poet plato's theory of forms or theory of ideas what he has given on basic of reason emotion appetites reason emotion appetites you all know all the meaning reason okay reasonable then emotion emotional then appetites avalukku therinjukkukudiya or arv pasi appetites so idha vande avaru rendu vidhama per or good or good being separate irukono evil being separate irukko or being nammude human being epdi paanga non being அதாவது ஹியூமனல் பீகிங் இல்லாம அனிமல் அவங்க கிட்ட இருக்கக்கூடிய குவாலிட்டிஸ் வச்சு இவர் என்ன செய்யறாருன்னா பெருசா த ஒன் த குட் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் குட் ரீசனிங் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் அ குட் ரீசனிங் குட் எமோஷன் அண்ட் குட் ஹாப்பிடைஸ் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் அ தீஸ் குவாலிட்டிஸ் நம்பர்ஸ் ஜெமாட்ரிக் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் வர்ச்சுவர்ஸ் அண்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஃபார் எவ்ரி திங் தட் இஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் பர்ஃபெக்ட் Uh, if you are calculating or if you are doing geometric that geometric that the geometrical works then virtuous you are having a great disciplines if you are all good be if you are uh, developing good reason you are having these quality if the person be human be they should to possess all those things they should have a reason very great reasoning then geometric forms then virtuous perfect forms for everything they have to be perfect for everything next if you are uh, uh, that is bad evil if you are having evil thoughts evil reasoning shadows painting that is if you always will be in painting that is shadows non being they are always they don't have a five sense they don't have five sense they never live in the time and space so they are everything in complete darkness if you are following evil things you are in complete darkness this is a theory of forms so if the poet they follow good things they are in following good values they are following bad they are completely in darkness they are considered as shadows not only the poet those who are following good reason they are will be they will be like that those who are not following good uh, reasons or emotions and uh, they don't know how to control appetites they are considered as shadows this is the theory of uh, theory of forms or theory of idea as given by plato that uh, to be concentrated on it all